Hi, I'm Jim Catanzaro, the head football coach at Lake Forest College. Hi, I'm Pete Scafidi. I'm the senior quarterback for Lake Forest College, and I'm from South Elgin, Illinois. My name is Jake Rockovich. I'm a senior D lineman from Crestwood, Illinois. A couple highlights of the 2012 team are that it is the largest roster that we've had in recent years, uh, welcoming in a first-year player class of 48 players, uh, something we're very excited about, some very talented young players joining our experienced players. Uh, bigger numbers means everyone can get more reps, and our younger guys are even doing a lot better of uh, picking up things a lot quicker. So what takes a couple a couple days to install something, this year's take we're going by a little bit quicker and our young guys can pick it up and give us a good look so now we're actually like we're actually getting better. I think the confidence level is just way higher this year. Everyone seems to be on the same page. All our starters seem to be at the point where we know we're tired of losing. We don't want to do it anymore and we're gonna be the change. We want to be the team that can brought Lake Forest back to the top. Service went to uh, the Northern Illinois Food Bank and we served, we packaged uh, their meat and over 7,000 meals were made for that day. It was great giving back to the community and just helping others out that need it. Mr. Lowry came in last night and he basically gave the short pump up speech that none of us expected. We expected like kind of like a you have to you know do your best, to look like the typical like rise up sheet, but he came and blew everybody away. He was short to the point. And what he said got everybody going. When everybody left that meeting last night, we were all just stunned. We kind of like we're ready to go out on the field right now. I mean, and having people like that talk to us definitely helps a lot. I mean, it's a good break from camp and stuff, but it also gets us motivated. Like, like when we know that people high up on the board or other people, our alumni from whatever it was 30 years ago or something like that, come and tell us that they're excited about what we're doing. It makes us feel better and it makes it gives us that confidence level. The scavenger hunt was great. Um, our team, the Jaybirds, we went to uh, Portillo's and then we went to a few other places in town. It's been going great. A lot of, a lot of good friendships have been made so far. Uh, we have a couple of standout players on the offensive side of the ball, including honorable mention All-American Pete Scafidi. Uh, Pete broke a number of school records last year and we're excited to see him expand upon his early career success. Also returning is senior all-conference running back Al Mitchell. Al had a sensational season last year, and we look for another breakout year from him. One of the unique things about Al is he's a dual threat running back. There was a game last year where he had over 16 receptions, but there's also games where he's had over 20-plus carries in the game. We're looking forward to having him pace our offense in the run game. He'll be joined by a number of young players who are looking to expand their roles as the season goes on. In the wide receiver core, senior Austin Sobey, who broke the school record for touchdown receptions will help pace a young group of players that includes 16 new wide receivers. We're looking forward to a lot of growth from those players as the season goes on and allowing them to expand their role as their opportunities present themselves. On the defensive side of the ball, uh, we have matured greatly from last year where we only graduated two starters and we're looking forward to that extended amount of playing time that a number of the young players received a year ago to uh, help lead our defense to greater success this season. I found a number of our juniors in particular have stepped up with great off seasons and we're looking forward for them to be very productive and build off their work this off season as we begin our games. To me it's representing the tradition. I mean, we've we've been around since God knows when. I mean, we just we've been around forever and I like being a part of something that I can meet older guys and they are like, oh like walking up to somebody on the street and saying Oh, you're like a Forest football player. I graduated in this year. I was under Coach Dow. I co played with Coach Dow in a couple occasions, and I, I mean, it's a huge thing when people see the when people see the shirt when you're walking around, whether it's t-shirt, shorts, and they notice you and they recognize you for that football player. And I, I just like to be a part of that tradition and be a part of. I, I just like to be told that I'm representing that tradition well. Preseason camp is going great. Uh, there's a lot of new freshmen that have been coming in and. A lot of guys are working hard to work for that championship. Um, I think the biggest feeling in the locker room is excitement. We're all ready to go. I mean, defense and offense both trust each other. And together, we, we have no problem making the plays. We're, we feel like we're going to be the team that comes through in those big situations and that doesn't let one little glitch pull us back. I think we're, this is, we all have the confidence that this is going to be our year. This upcoming season presents a number of challenges for us and an opportunity to build upon some success that we had last year. Our number one goal is finishing games stronger than we did a year ago. We were competitive in just about every game we had last season, and now it's time to go over that next step and take the victory from our opponents. As our players look around the locker room, they know we have a tremendous amount of talent. We have great coaches with great schematic influence, and now it's about going out on the field on a Saturday afternoon and executing 
the full game plan for a full 60 minutes. If we're able to do that, there's no doubt we'll be one of the top teams in the Midwest Conference.